very much. Um, I, I told the students before we started that one that that's been on my wish list of things to conduct for years. Uh, I got to play it in an honor band situation as a euphonium player, and so I feel their pain on some of those lines. <laughs> um, but having the opportunity to work with an ensemble that's this spectacular and being able to put it together and being able to really dig into it and in, two, in less than two days, knowing that we didn't have to cut any movements and we didn't have to play it safe, we just got to really let loose on it. So it's been an absolute pleasure. That is a testament to the support these students are getting. So there's a few people you have to thank in that situation. The board from, from CCS, the people who make this weekend possible, can we please put a big round of applause together for them? This wouldn't be possible without the excellent, excellent work that's going on in their classrooms and the amazing teaching that's happening by their teachers. So please, big round of applause for those teachers. And that includes, that absolutely includes private teachers as well. The students that are lucky enough to be taking lessons, big round of applause for them as well. And finally, the people who absolutely are the most to blame for this, the ones who put up with all the practicing, the ones who provide the instruments, the ones who buy the reeds, the ones who bring the music when it's forgotten, the ones who pay for the lessons and keep encouraging the students to take these classes, the parents. Thank you very, very much. Now for something completely different. The next number on the program is a piece entitled Chasing Sunlight by a new composer, Kate Nishimura. You can find her on the internet, and she is out there writing new music right now. She's phenomenal. Uh, this piece of music, she says, is uh, inspired by driving west into the sunset. And what you'll hear is a sense of urgency from these eighth notes that happen in the, the percussion and some of the other lines. And it's this idea that you've got to keep up with the Earth's rotation to try to catch as many of the sun's last rays as possible. But there's also a lyric line floating over the top that reminds us that beauty is fleeting and that we have to make the most of every opportunity we have. So this a beautiful piece of music, this is Chasing Sunlight by Kate Nishimura.
to have our trumpet soloist stand up at the end. A big round of applause for Will, please. And to keep going with this theme of, of eclecticism, just trying to throw you as many curveballs as I can, how much different stuff could I throw into four pieces? This last piece, uh, I lovingly refer to as heavy metal for band. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's called Foundry. It refers to both where metal is formed and made into other things and also found percussion, meaning that some of the instruments that the percussionists are playing at the back are things that were found either in a junkyard or at Home Depot. So, or maybe the kitchen. I'm sorry if those are your bowls. Um, please enjoy this. I know I've had a wonderful time. Thank you very much for having me. This is John Mackey's Foundry. <laughs> 